How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and Game of Thrones. Now, this is episode two we are about to play. We were left off with unbelievable ending to the last one. Poor Ethan um, passed away. So savage. Let's begin this one. Uh, I want to get this one out of the way, obviously, because uh, episode three is going to be out soon, and then I will be up to date with everyone else. So I understand this one and the last one not getting as many views or attention because a lot of you have probably already played it. So... Let's get this one out of the way. Let's enjoy this. It's going to be a complete playthrough. Previously on Game of Thrones. These are dark days, I fear. So this is what happened if you didn't see the last video. Oh god, yes, I remember. They got torn apart. Must never be lost. You're sending him to the war. The boy's done nothing wrong. The future yeah, of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the crown? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rasha. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. Oh god, it's too hard to watch. Oh god, I couldn't believe it when that happened. No. Don't let them take me! I'm so sorry, Ethan. Apparently there's nothing you can do either, I checked. Ethan dies no matter what. And they named him Ethan the Brave. And so they should. He stood up to that man. Oh, shit, we in Khaleesi's house. Oh. Is this Khaleesi's house? I'm sure this is. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sc Scorpion. Behind you. Asher Forrester. Ah, so this is Asher Forrester. We haven't met him yet. He's one of the eldest brothers. He is to come back and take uh, command. Uh, sit as a criminal off! Whoa, it's just me, Beska. Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. That's a chick, really. All right. Oh, hold on. Let's get. You let's get a beer. Pacing. They'll be here this soon. stuff is weak compared to Northern Ale. Yes. The Northern bastards know how to drink. They even know how to walk. Look at me. This place could use a good cleaning. I complained to the owner. But he's probably dead. Oh, yeah. You see, now, if I didn't pick that up, I might not be able to use that later. Damage, what's this? Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. Nice having the place to ourselves, then. Oh, is this a bong? Oh man, we about to Brave smoke or... that shit. All right, maybe not. Let's go talk to Basca. Ale it goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste of time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. Huh. I know I do. You're drunk, aren't you? Nah, I'm still sober. Because you're <laughs> still ugly. <laughs> Another round? Man, we are turning up! Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. Oh. Oh shit. How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. After that. He looks fine. Fat and scared. 
Good. Let him stay that way. Mm. I Until we collect him. our gold, at least. 800 gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. Are we bounty hunters? We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. Oh. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. Oh. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Sounds like fun. the best whores when the bad ones are so much more fun. I knew I liked you for a reason. My point is, with enough coin, we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You oh, you're about home. to. They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's not that simple. In the north, these feuds run deep. Oh, fuck the north. Oh! We have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. The north remembers, bitch. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To family. To family. I'm sure I'd agree if I'd ever had one. Okay. Oh fuck, we You're can't. Not that drunk, are you? Sorry. <laughs> That's the worst mini game ever. <laughs> Clink. <laughs> oh shit. Scared, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking lost legion here? Oh, we're about to get that into a fight. From the Volantis job. Maybe he's forgotten about that. You. I told you if I saw you again. Tizal, isn't it funny how life brings all friends together? Now cut your fucking throats! It's good to see you too, Tizal. <laughs> Where is he? Where's who? Here, four hundred dragons. They must be working for the wise masters. And that's all you're getting. Fine, we'll take Fine. it. We'll take it. Asher, no. Good. Now, show me the fat man. I don't want to fight. Like, I just want to go home. Hey! Don't do anything foolish. We're all sell swords, Tazal. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood. We're going to fight no matter what, aren't we? We are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Oh, he killed him anyway! And we're done with you, too. Oh, you're gonna you regret just that. made a huge mistake, Tazel. You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asher Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he took 400 gold dragons and then killed Bezak anyway. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money, and we get the blame. Ponte os en as! Fojos me no me chahos so kisikas! Oh no, I... Okay. Flip table! Alright, who dies first? Who oh wow, she's got some skill! Kill them, now! Cherry face! Punch him in the face! That's right, one. bitch! Oh shit! Come on! Oh, right in the entrance! Oh. She couldn't pass me! Oh no, I, I didn't do anything! Oh shit! <laughs> yeah! Oh, you're dead! Oh shit! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, don't do it! Oh my god. Oh, that was right in his shoulder! And his face! Kill him in the head! Kill him in the head! 
See, if I didn't pick that shit up, that would not be possible right now. Shit. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Oh, god. Q, 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 Q! E, E! Fucking right. Forgive my excitement. <laughs> oh no! Goldberg! Stab him in the shit! Get the sword! Get the sword! Slash him! Slash him! Oh! Oh! His hand! We are the shit. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. This is thug life right now. Break his neck. Kill me. And the Lost Legion won't stop. Bust his knee. <laughs> Probably should have broken his neck. Oh! Yeah, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. Kill them both! Oh, I should have killed him. So <laughs> Who the fuck's that? Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Tis out. Oh, he's gone. I should have killed him. I don't know why I didn't do it. Go. Get the money. Close door. Come on. You have to be so quick, honestly. Malcolm. Damn. Oh well. We have to keep moving. <laughs> Malcolm, stop. Asher. I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? I'm here to bring you home. Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home. Go home. Oh, I love this bit. It's like I'm in the show. <laughs> I'm such a fanboy. Oh my god. So, he's found Ashta. They're going to bring him home. Um, I don't think he, do he doesn't know that Ethan's dead, does he? Oh god. I'm not skipping, I'm sorry. I <laughs> you, don't, you don't skip the Game of Thrones theme song, you sing to it. La 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 I am so sorry. Episode 2. The Lost Lords. They ain't lost now. Oh shit. Lovely. I take it this isn't first class. Roderick Forrest is Roderick. I thought he died at the battle. He survived. Damn foresters. Not to be so fucking far away. Yeah, kill him. Q, 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 Q. Oh! Oh, yeah, that's father. Yeah, that's dad. I can't believe he's alive! I thought the horse crushed him. Oh, no, is he dead now? Did he die? Did Roderick die? Far enough. No, he didn't. I come from the twins, they're in the dead of House Forrester. 
Lordly types from the looks of them. Right. Right. Tend to be dead. We'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Ryland. You again. I, uh, Who have you got this time? Some poor peasant I'm dressed all. up like I, a lord. Uh, a stable boy was... in Bannerman's clothes. You did this at Duckendale. Oh. And you have the fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you so get home. Come here, so why isn't he making a fuss? The forest. Leave. Now. Fine. Oh no, yeah, because they're there. They've taken over, haven't they? You come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I I heard you. That was a sheep fucker. No, 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 no. Don't worry. What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? I could use some help. Roderick? Yes. Roderick, by the gods, it is you. Sir? Fetch the maester, hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! Oh, okay, I, I thought the, um, the people that killed Ethan might still be there. Oh god, we're going to have some medieval surgery now. Don't ever complain about going into hospital. Seriously. This is what the shit was like. Oh god, what are you doing? My lord, you should not be awake. <laughs> Damn right. The milk of the poppy. Drink. Come now. Drink it. I don't want to. You don't want to know what happens. Roderick, my lady. No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Come in. Let her. I haven't seen her in ages. Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No, Roderick. What have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Oh shit. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. Don't leave, Roderick. Your mum loves you! Do not go on X Factor, whoever that is. Seriously. That's bad. So Roderick might not be able to walk. He's going to be a cripple. Maybe. He's still got his legs though. Has he? Alright, uh, he's still got his legs. Use the picture. I haven't heard that one before. It's nice. Roderick! Thank the gods! Brother, I think I've lost you! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm fine. Don't worry. I should have given her a hug. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. These wounds will heal, Talia. I know. You'll be your old self before we know it. Yeah, that's right. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Oh, shit. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan didn't even resist. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Shit, he's gonna be like pissed. it was nothing. Ethan, how could this happen to him? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove alongside father 
And now Mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. Then don't write it. Mother will understand. Don't make her sing. <laughs> Me. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. What about I Ashton? I know you still need time to heal, I'll but... be fine, Talia. The council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I just I been told to I can't walk. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Let's find out. Only one way to find out. Oh, don't fall down. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. Do we not I have... I know you can. Medieval wheelchairs? Alright, come on, Roderick. Let's do this. Let's stand and go be king and shit. Lord, whatever. Up! Uh, maybe not. Patrick. I'm fine. You're not fine. You just fell on your fate. Don't leave me. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. What is he? rolled in on a corpse, can. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. You, you're not making Take me head. feel good. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? Could use an aspirin, though. That's it. Let's go. Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though I think you'll find that much has changed. Oh dear, what's happened? We're at the wall! Oh my god! This is where people are sent as a punishment to serve at the wall in the night's watch for people who do not watch the TV show! Oh shit. Elevator. That goes up to the top of the wall where the watchers of the wall Keep an eye out for big ass monsters and shit. White walkers. Castle, castle Black. Black. It's my so castle. This is the seat of the castle Night's Black. Watch. Hello up there. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruits at the gate. Oh, am I gonna meet John? Am I gonna meet John Snow? All training. Your arrival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. This is amazing, honestly. It really is amazing.
Okay, so here we are. Ready to start my watch. Everyone's an asshole. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're Thank new, you here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. Thanks. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. See, the people in the Night's Watch, they're not really, like, made from soldiers. They're, they're just, like, thieves and murderers and rapists and stuff, and they're sent here as a punishment. So they're not really soldiers, you know. They're all arseholes, most of them. <clears throat> you recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? Sky, um, I'd rather not say. I'm just another dead man, come to join the Night's Watch. How very humble. And how did this dead man get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief, a raper. You abandon your post. That's none of your business. You're a cattle black boy. Every last wart on your freezing cold ass is my business now. You arrive on horseback, wearing a soldier's livery. I know exactly who you are, Garrett Tuttle. How do you know my name? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. And yes, it is my business, all of it. The sooner you learn that, the better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Thanks, man. I feel so welcome. I feel like I'm in some sort of brotherhood. Oh, we're back Last home. we'd heard Asher was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> And he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Oh, we got to walk past them, though. Aren't they going to be, like, horrible and stuff? Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring you some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that yeah. him? I ain't dead now, am I? To be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> you ain't so Had pretty. A in with Waldo Clay, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is Real cursed. shame about your leg, oh, Lord. Give us a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. Man, these people are really pissing me off. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. You don't want to test me. Is that right? Because you look pretty sad to me. Can't fight all of them, I guess. I 
wonder what's weaker. Your legs, or this house? I am the lord of this house, and you will move. Yeah, bitch. Go on then, my lord. <sighs> I told them, right? Let's go. No, no one come up behind me and stab me in the ass, please. I've had enough of that. It's ridiculous. You're treating them like the guests. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. Well, they're still arguing. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Mother. Come, join us. Why, thank you. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole Duncan. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead and Ryan a hostage. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. Damn right. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took deep with Mott. Halsey's Helliver, Grayson and Brownborough were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, that much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. We get married. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now. Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. And she's gotta be Talking fit. about a marriage, right. but an That's, that's a stipulation. Talia does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tarsome Keep dispute. Them drunk. Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. Ah, fuck you. Now, if there's nothing more I don't to like discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back.
Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. But thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Nera. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Well, he's back. He's now Lord. Oh. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Hey, Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. Oh, make a large donation. We will make a sizable donation in the name of King Joffrey. A little presumptuous of you, Mira. But I like it. They'll be very grateful. You got all this money? Give it to someone. Batch. I had to borrow that from father. Mine was stolen. Can you imagine? Oh dear. I wonder who it was. <laughs> it's like she knows it's me. Oh. Are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the curse of things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. Who that? I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Ah, that's the cowboy. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. I think I can trust him. It, it's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? Probably. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. So do it. But it wouldn't be very discreet. You'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I won't ask you again then. Don't kill me. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. Bye, bestie. Who does nothing for me? Get me the Wi-Fi password! Bitch. Bitch! <laughs> it's alright, Mira. You'll be alright. Man, her writing is on fleek. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. Ah, finished letter. So. Oh, I'm forging a letter! Sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Fucking come through the door like Sir that! Sir Maynard. <sighs> The man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Oh, thank God I chose or to stay true to Marjorie. Form. I know you're very busy with 
Lady Marjorie and and all that. She would have caught it and seen it. She's a fucking spy. But I know I was it. Hoping we could talk. No. If you don't mind. I'd rather not. Piss off. I like the sound of that. Don't worry. It's. We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. I bet she isn't a spy and that coal boy is the spy. And I've been treating her like shit this whole time. Oh my god. Bloody cold today, isn't it? Stop moaning. It's snowing! Oh god, here comes Lord Buggerface. Oi, fuckhead. <laughs> what? You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. I'm not moving. Fuck off. Wrong fucking answer. I don't remember that. Be Good! Be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. Oh. I was stuck in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrom are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes? You fuck potatoes. What? No! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. He looks like he would do that though, doesn't he? Not at the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi. My sister was on. Oh, I've got something for your sister. Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Wasn't me, it was potato fucker. Tuttle. Who was it? Oh shit. Not me. You're looking at the wrong recruit, sir. So it was someone else then? Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. I didn't point a finger at anyone, I just said it weren't me. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can Shit. go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive the rest of you. Frostfinger. Jon Snow! I need a word. I've actually met him in real life, uh, Kit Go Harrington. On, get started. I hung out with him at the O2. We had some drinks, talked about Game of Thrones. It was amazing meeting him. He's a really nice guy. Best of luck, Tuttle. All right. Just want to point out we are not besties. <laughs> He's definitely not strong. Here we go. <laughs> Again. Close up. See those dummies? Those are fence. You know nothing, John Snow. I didn't say that to him when I met him. I really wanted to, though. <laughs> Castle Black. How can I move around? Look at Castle Black. Castle Black. This is home now. Yeah. Pretty much home. Shall we fight? I want to do sword fighting because... I'm good at sword fighting. I want to be a ranger. That's a bloody talk. You, grab a practice sword. I want to grab a real sword. Because I'm the man. This one should do. Bit rusty. I'll be sparring with you today. Now I'm gonna chop your beard off, Remember, sunshine. Blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Oh shit on me. 
Come on, keep at it. I am, don't worry. Oh. Oh. So intense. Oh, God, that was so good. Don't get cocky. Well, four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. Yeah, like, fuck, I did. I'm awesome. That's what happened. See, even John knows. Oh, he's puckering his lips. Hang on, John. Well, that was interesting. Let's go feel the horse's bum. The sword training is complete. Oh, have I got to do all of this? You're doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these. We're at. Oh shit! Mansrader oh, <laughs> will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Oh, he didn't actually go through his foot. Trying to put the arrow in there first, like that. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. All right. I don't. I, I can Let's do it. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Huh. You can follow orders at least. Yeah, I can. Next bolt. Left target. Head. Target head. I. I can't. I can't get the head. I can't. It won't let me aim for the head. Let me aim for the head. That was way off the mark. Well, I can't move right it up time. high enough. Chest. It wouldn't let me go high enough. This is some bullshit right here. Good. Center between the eyes. I can't do that. It won't let me go up any further. Oh, what have I done? Ah. Oh. oh fuck! I pressed Stop it. Stop daydreaming. Missed a few, but uh, well done overall. It wasn't my fault. I don't want to be a. I don't want to be an arrow. It wouldn't let me move it up any further. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Got a blade. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. Mm. Why'd he take it, though? When he showed me that blade, I knew it was going to become, like, important. Shall we, don't, shall we pet the horse? Who's your good horsey? Who's your boo? He's your cold out here. He's your cold. Why do you not feed on you? <laughs> I would not last a fucking day in the Night's Watch. Seriously. I'd be killed. Oh, lift. I haven't done this. That's why. I haven't done that. That's what I haven't done. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall, it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. I can do this. <sighs> Want some help? <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't disappoint him. Gotta be faster. Oh, come on, it's not that heavy. Shit. 
Shit, 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 shit. Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. No! No! If the thing hasn't frozen off. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. Not holding my breath, brother. Why do I got the feeling that he's gonna be my best friend? You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Oh, shit. And it fucks my knife! If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my Don't way. put it in my pocket. I know what you're thinking. Got it. Do something. Stop it. Before some... <clears throat> oh, shit. i got to stop being so nice. say it again. Fuck. Oh no, I, I didn't do it right. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get Here they go again. Oh god, block it. Oh fuck him up. I can't get him! Oh what? Come on! Get up! What is going on here? Stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't. And Kara defended it. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't. Don't fight! Oh, I'm telling you, he put it in my pocket. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Fuck him. Fuck Sir, him. not I... another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. On the way, John. No, sorry, no, when I get back, and he didn't plant it on me, so I guess I can't really, you know. Still an asshole, though. I've got to stop being so nice in this world, you know. I keep thinking if I do people favors, they're gonna do it back for me. This way. Hey, Mira. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You You're still a spy. This place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. I have a lot on my mind lately. Just through here. I ain't telling you. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Mm, I don't really want to be drinking that. Come on. Where'd you get down. it? Where'd you get it? Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the queen cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. I don't really want to because Cersei uh, will have my head cut off, and it's quite a pretty and head. Won't hurt. No. Fuck you. You want to get decapitated? Suit yourself then. You do it. I just don't trust her. <laughs> so, I uh. Am I just being mean to her because I think she's a spy and she's actually not going to be one? Well, I just... What? I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, 
If I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I promise. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Oh, and I've been mean. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. No. Give no. me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it sure I can't means. promise anything. Like, I just... can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that difficult. I have much bigger problems, Sarah. I need to look out for my family. No. You're right. I'm sure I would want to look after my family, too. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. I feel fucking mean, but I just know that she's going to come and screw me over. You I just sure got that feeling. Okay? You look like you could use a drink. I'm sure Cersei is, you know... Oh, no, Tyrion! A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. <sighs> God. He's not a douche, this guy. Not the finest Arbor Red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. I took, I took it. the wine from the cellars. I'm defending you. If you let me down, I'm going to be pissed, Sarah. I suggest bringing cups next time. There are risks worth taking. Stealing wine from the Queen Regent isn't one of them. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped swords. I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. I will. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a Forrester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. I do like Tyrion. He's, you know, he's, he's a good egg. He's a good egg. He's, he's full of justice, you know, he doesn't believe in just mindlessly killing people. Uh, he's sane, you know, he's a good guy. We doesn't like his family. Here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? My name is Mira Forrester. Yeah, bitch. Mira Forrester? 
Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros. She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You can't us. do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am we'll I. We'll stare him down. <laughs> lord. Even the rock's Tyrion. eyebrow. Lord Tyrion. Do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. You just got owned! Ah, well, that was fun. <laughs> now, Gotta stop shouting things offer. when people walk out of doors. What did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? Yeah, it's mine and you ain't having I it. I had a reason for coming here. You first, Lord Tyrion. Help me stop the White Hills. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. Hmm. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. What? Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. I can always trust Tyrion. It will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. You'll make it work, Tyrion, I trust you. My lady. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> The way he said it, my lady. Who says that? Oh, we're back with Ashton, if that's his name, Ariston, or whatever his name is. Like, I'm bad with names. I'm terrible. Now we gotta get out of the city. Go. Faster than that. Yo, what's up, girl? Yeah, keep walking. Shit. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You coming with us then? If yeah. You want to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. Ah, we're going back with an army! An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I'll lead him. I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without cell sorts to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you. Let's go see no. Khaleesi. Come on. He'll help us. I'll I love Khaleesi so much. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. I'll be charming. Right. Oh no. Well, 
This mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. What business? What kind of unfinished business? The kind I'd rather keep to myself. You should really tell me, man. Hide! Ponte Renas! Ponte Renas! Yourself! I'm so excited we're going to see Khaleesi, though. I can't wait to see Khaleesi. I love Khaleesi. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Hide. Oh, don't see me! One more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Get some horses. I hope you're ready, Asher. Oh, I'm ready. Won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Thank you! Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forester will not survive to see winter. Oh, I like we're gathering an army. It's very Dragon Age. I'm ready! I'm ready for war! Hey, Mira. Don't look so down. She's pretty. But what's in there? Maybe the Wi Fi password's in there. It's got to be Wi Fi. Hello? Uh, oh, if you're caught, Mira, nothing can happen to her. Nothing. If she gets hurt or anything, I'm going to be really pet peak. Hello? There's a note. Hmm. Interesting. Open. Oh god, this is risky. Mira! That's addressed to me. That means I can read it. Invitations? Are they the invitations that we wrote? <sighs> Nothing's happened to Sarah. Has it? I haven't got her killed. I don't want to look in the chest. Just look, find the, the note. The note. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. That's oh, the coal boy, isn't it? It is, isn't it? That's the coal boy. See, they're making me choose between the coal boy and Sarah. <clears throat> and all along I've been thinking Sarah is the... Visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage... You are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... I was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. 
Is she fit though? I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. <laughs> You're making me nervous. But this is an important day for all <laughs> it's, of us. It's, it's got a weekly Chris on us. This advice well taken. <laughs> I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Well, shit. She better be fit. Roderick? Oh, she's quite fit. I I like her. Say hello. You look. Welcome to Iron Rath, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? It's good to see you too. Ah. Please. Take a seat, Bay, as they they say nowadays. That slang. Do you like my slang? And my stick? So, here we are. How have you How been? How have you been, Elena? Oh, it's been quiet, I suppose. Times have certainly been difficult, but I'm well. Thank you for asking. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I'm getting better every day. Might be a while before we dance again, though. I'm glad to hear you're recovering. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide and seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. Ah. But Roderick... I, um... I need to ask you something. Just ask me if my penis when is still working, alright? today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? Trust me, they won't be here long. That wasn't an answer. Yeah, it was. Don't doubt me, woman! I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. <sighs> he wants me to call it off. What do you want? And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly... I'm torn. Aww. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. My family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. My house is stronger than it looks. Every one of us is fighting to survive. Even beyond Ironrath. <sighs> it's good to hear you so assured. But I have to be practical. Lena. Don't leave me! It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. Fuck! I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but he... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. Don't fucking not still kill her! Into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. 
I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral, but I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The Fuck youngest you. son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. If you vote Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're ordering them around and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Piss Love. off. Enough of this. Let's talk this through then. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you fucking listen? So, here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan called me Craven. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny. If ring. I don't do it, he's gonna kill him. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Kiss the ring, fine. Don't kill any more of my fucking family. Don't kill her, don't kill her. He's probably going to slap me or something, maybe look like a fool, but it's just don't kill anyone, please. Very good. Now then, since you're a loyal subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Fox. You can't Ramsay do that. Snow I said... know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. Uh, As of today, I harvest ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. We will not stand for this. What are you gonna do? Bludgeon me with a walking stick. <laughs> Besides, you just swore an oath to obey that me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Yeah, damn right. Well, you don't need to kill anyone. For. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, I really did not enjoy kissing that man's way, ring. That sounds bad. My men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? Yeah, well, my new name's going to be Roderick with my sword up your ass! Don't look at me like that. I can't that. believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I did it for Ryan. Maybe I'd have done the same. But it killed him! I don't want any more people to die! What about Mira? She Hello. is not a very nice bay. Are you well? This fight isn't over. Not even close. Oh, God! Where are we going now, John? You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm Garrett. Crossfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. He doesn't know me. He's seen a thousand recruits pass through those gates. He knows you better than you think. He said, you fought for the North with the Foresters. You were there, at the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. 
3,000 men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and, and the next... The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was yes. good at it. He was good at everything. Now the phrase command River Run and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did. It's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the night's watch. But it's quite depressing here, John. I mean... You know, it's quite cold. And everyone's an asshole. And there's no Wi-Fi. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. And they'll hate you anyway. We can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. I can't just ignore them. No good will come of doing otherwise. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. <sighs> yeah, this is the wall. This is where John and Sam stand in the TV show talk about shit. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? To find the North Grove. The North Grove? <laughs> Are you serious? Old Nan used to tell us a tale about ice dragons and trees tall as the sky. Why would you want to find the North Grove? Why does it matter to you? It's important to House Forrester. Better keep that to yourself. I trust John. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. Uh, that's why you call him Frostfinger, because he lost them to the frost. <laughs> this is a long episode, right? Oh, what are you doing, Mira? What are you doing? I'm here, but where are you? Cowboy! <gasps> Cowboy, where you at? Ah, 
Fuck off! Oh shit. Oh! Oh, it's him! Who's there? Where do you oh. think you're going? Oh, fuck me, no. At this time of night. I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Don't hurt you me! Know what this uniform means. It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Is there no way I can change your mind? Did you not hear me? Oh, shit. At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. That's the guy at the yes. door that I was taking so, the piss out of. Enjoy your night. Yeah, <laughs> keep walking! Me and Prince Charming here goes and talk. You, my lady. I'm Damien. You were in the throne room earlier. What brings you to the garden? You do. You got my note. That was you. Oh god, he doesn't want to, you know, get I'm with very me, does glad he? You could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Why all the secrecy? If you wanted to talk to me, you could have asked. It never seemed the right time. Why does he keep looking around? I am sorry about this, Mira. What? But you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. What? What are you talking about? I'll make this quick if that helps. Fuck you, no! See you suffer. Don't do it, Mira! Go! Go! Go, bitch! Hit me! Hit him with the bucket! No, no! Run! No! Oh my god, don't you fucking dare! Gouge his eyes out! Scratch him in the face! Oh boy! No! No! Help him! Mira! Stab him! Oh, shit! Attack him! I gotta help him, I can't, I, oh fuck my shit. Stop it! Yes! You had to, you couldn't leave Cold Boy, he just saved your ass. You? What, what, what happened? What, what was that? What did it look like? He tried to kill me. Why would he do that? What are you doing here? I heard yelling. Shit. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of it. I know a few places at Fleabot. No one will ever find him. Good. Good luck. And be careful. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Fuck me, run! Damien, where are you? You're gonna, you're gonna have to hide that shit, because that, that's incriminating. Oh, keep the knife. If I toss it, they'll find it. They'll find it. Was that the right decision? I panicked. God. Ah, oh, Ethan. And my dad. This is not a good day. Not a good day! Roderick! It's you. It's me, mate. I'm here, right? Roderick, they said you were gone. I'm here. Ramses Dead? Snow did this. He did that to Ethan. You're going to hurt him, aren't you? Lord Whitehouse said you were. Because you're a coward. 
But I know you will. He deserves it. I'm gonna kill Ramsay Snow for what he did. That's enough. Tell me it's enough. Your little chat is over. I will speak with my brother. I said you're done. Keep your distance or I'll drag him back to High Point right now. What? I have to go back? No! I want to come home! Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Roderick? Are you going to forget about me? I will get you back home. I promise. Please hurry. How about a story? No, no. You've had your chance. He's a child. What harm could it do? Make it a quick one. They bastard, seriously. Mother. Come join the others. He's right there. My son. But soon they'll take him from me just like before. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one. But his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. I won't let that happen to us. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. Damn right. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Don't doubt me, Mum. Would you say a few words, my lord? Oh, now shit's gonna get real emotional. My father. He was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always kind. I never knew Burma. I am. I am sorry. I love you, Father. Ethan, my little brother. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. He was only a boy. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband, my love, and our Lord Ethan, my sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron from ice. ice. <laughs> I like this family. Oh, she's gonna sing. 
Taylor Swift. Sorry, that's bad. From eyes, from eyes, we forced us born. To eyes, we all return. Father, brother, we mourn, we mourn. His family trees we burn. I'd bear my neck to in in pain and swim the shivering sea. Pain slavers pay in crimson rains to bring Ethan back to me. When Watch on, watch on, Ethan the wise, old gods be one with you. Our Lord, my kin, an old soul dies, so I unrose Oh my god! Oh no, it gets it just gets better and better next time. What is going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill means to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. Shit. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, I'm a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it. All the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about it. Master God, they're questioning people. Is there anything else we need to be worried about? What was that? Oh shit! Is that a dragon? Oh! That's the end of episode two. From eyes, from eyes we fall. I'm sorry about that, my my uh. My camera stopped recording uh, at the right time though, uh, right at the end, didn't do it like right in the middle of it. <laughs> I loved that, that was fantastic. Uh, so that's episode 2 and episode 1, now there are 6 episodes in each season, this is season 1. So episode 3 I hear will be coming out towards the end of this month, around the 23rd-ish, so maybe in a few days we could see episode 3 drops and we will be ready. Like, love, caress my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.